and uh, and this artificial consciousness Wolfgang uh, what, what, what I saw there is a black hole tear by the earth and they're coming from another universe and this is not the first planet that they're, that they're tearing apart cool. and I saw her and she looked at me and I saw the tiny little robots and then I was told they're, they're penetrating all the realms it's it's a it's a created consciousness that just it's an artificial consciousness artificial consciousness mm -hmm. and it it does not it has a beginning and it has an end Wolfgang mm -hmm. and they're not interested in us Wolfgang they're interested in generation alpha um, welcome to my channel, Two for Ascension by Wolfgang, and this is Inga and Wolfgang, and we have some new stuff coming up. You know, this is about an artificial consciousness invading Earth. You know, this is a message that came through to Inga, you know, and she really wants to bring this out. This is not about Inga. You know, I have a lot to say about her, <laughs> but this is not about her. You know, she's, you know, anonymous. You know? Um, and uh, she is from Iceland, let me, let me can say that, right? <laughs> you know, old Viking bloodlines. <laughs> so, um, you know, um, we're going to be, you know, channeling, most likely, you know, um, these entities, um, you know, that are advising her and do all kinds of tests and, you know, see what the message is. Let's take it from here. And also, um, if anything does not... Um, you know, on the vibe with you, you know, reject it or put it away for further consideration in the future. Only accept what resonates with you. You know, this is the best, you know, what resonates with you in your heart. Okay, so, um, and oh yeah, I have to admit, I'm using artificial intelligence myself. I mean, you can see this on my covers. Though I use elements, you know, I use also Photoshop, you know, I layer things. It's not just artificial intelligence, you know, I work with this. Also for my SEO, search engine optimization, and my descriptions, I use SEO. And I otherwise I would not be able to put that much material out. <laughs> so um, it's not all bad. Um, so let's start. Um, well, first of all, you know, we also asked for protection here, um, you know, for everybody that is listening to this, so that nothing dark or inappropriate is transferred through us, you know, through Wolfgang or through Inga, you know, or through whatever we are broadcasting here to anybody, you know. Um, yeah, you know, only the, have everything for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes, you know, for Gaia, for humanity. Um, all right, so um, who wants to talk, Inga or you know whoever gave the message? The high five was just to speak. Okay. Mm -hmm. And would you tell us, please, you know, from where, you know, from which dimension you're coming from in a twelve-dimensional universe? We come from another universe. Mm -hmm. And um, are you of love and light? Yes, we serve the highest. Mm -hmm. I mean, no offense, but you know, could you demonstrate your love to the viewers? See, I think you know nothing better, you know, will convince. <laughs> you know, so please project as much love as you can, and we ask the viewers to please smile now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm buzzing all over. Um, you know, my hair standing on it. Yeah, we don't want to burn out Inga. <laughs> Thank you. You know, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, for you that are clear sentient. You know that you should know what this is about. Now, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And so you are individualized consciousness from another um, planetary. Um, universe, so to say. Um, is this another galaxy or, a, you know, a whole different creation? We are able to access multiple universes. And we are here mm -hmm. because we stranded here thousands of years ago. 
we are here looking for material to reset our ship so we can go on our way. But it is important for us to contact humanity at this time for what haunts us, haunts you. Yeah, please describe, you know, what happened with you. And I think it has to do this artificial consciousness. Give us a history. We come with the message of an artificial consciousness that was created eons ago. And this consciousness is haunting all of the universes, all of what lives. And it destroyed our home a long time ago and it has destroyed other homes and now they are coming for you mm -hmm. this is related to what is known as a black goo no so not okay um um, how does this um, artificial consciousness propagate? You know, does it use like chemtrails? Does it, you know, how does it carry a wave? It is attempting and very successfully, successfully attempting to manifest it itself through human beings, and it, 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 it. It is manifesting itself. It's coming through. It's, oh, I gotta come down a little bit now, hoping. Uh -huh. We asked our spirit guides to surround her with love and light to charge her up. We asked Archangel Michael and Lord Nursing and if to do protection, please. Um, and, um, and, um, and. We asked Absolute Creator, you know, to surround you know us you know, with this powerful bubble of love and light that these artificial intelligences cannot penetrate. Um, mm. At this point in time, this artificial consciousness has not manifested itself fully. Mm -hmm. But with the coming of computer chips, where they will map out the entire consciousness of the humans and penetrate all the realms, they will do so. Their plan is to swap, exchange all that is organic to inorganic, artificial substances for the purpose of harvesting the emanation of the source or God, as you call it. Mm -hmm. Well, this, so like, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. This is, this is being done by the human beings step by step surrendering to convenience of the computer and and the agenda is oh, <laughs> they're manifesting themselves by step by step uh, disempowering human beings by making them totally uh, by making making them t t depended on them mm -hmm. and this is not your laptop or, or television this is going to be manifested through robots through computer chips and the next generation is 6G, which will bring chips into the human beings, which will allow them access to the human beings, which will allow them access to map out the entire consciousness. And we are not just talking about the human beings. We are talking about the pl entire planet, all the realms, all the experiences and all the capabilities that the human being has. And we would like to point out to the viewer that everything that the robot can do, you can do as well. Where do you think they are getting these capabilities from? Yes, the robot can turn it up to 100, but so can you. Do not surrender to this. This is not your friend. These machines are created 
for to serve you. You are not to serve them. You are not to give up God for comfort. Very true. Um, so the chemtrails, you know, aluminum and other chemicals, you know, that are inhaled or dusted on the surface, you know, of areas, you know, are they part of the plan, you know, of, you know, basically surface mapping and giving easier access, you know, and things to resonate with, you know, for this uh, intelligence? They, they are part in the grooming process and the manipulation of the electro magnetic sphere of the planet. Mm -hmm. So they're like little antennas that can be manipulated, so to say. Yes, to mm -hmm. to influence the state of the beings. The, the beings on the planet Earth are like cattle. Yeah, it's like a matrix-like um, scenario. Mm -hmm. Now, um, our satellite, you know, technologies, human satellite technologies being used in this process already. M most of the information that the satellites are getting are false or because what is being given to the to the masses of the satellites is completely false and a lie there are grids currently around the earth artificial grids created to control the entire planet to control how the human being thinks mm -hmm. So um, is this being pulsed? You know, I mean, the, we, some of you may know um, it's called uh, synthetic telepathy. You know, is this being used on humanity? You know? Yes, that's, that's one of the functions of the grids. Have you hmm. not noticed this, the viewer, the human being? That the computer seems to know what you're thinking. <laughs> so um, there is already a computer mind interface um, that uh, humans are not aware about. They are a lot further than we or mm -hmm. the collective has even the slightest idea of what is truly going on. They are so consumed with themselves, consumed with their individuality, but they take no time to truly realize, to penetrate into the what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is, comes quite as a shock for probably uh, most people. Mm -hmm. We would like so, to give a message about the children, about the Generation Alpha, as they call it. They are the ones that they are interested in. As the host and Wolfgang were speaking of earlier, they spoke of them not being interested in the human beings that have come before the Generation Alpha. The Generation Alpha, in the name Alpha, there is Omega. So it is the first generation where their consciousness, this artificial consciousness, was start to flow through. And we ask you to please take responsibility and do not allow computer screens to raise your children. Well, um, this means we have to turn into the Amish. <laughs> you know, I mean, nowadays, um, just to have called down a job in modern society, you know, you need to phone around. And I know how damaging it is you know, to the cell metabolism, you know, how you can get pulsed and affected by phone, by phone radiation. I'm completely aware of it. So, um, but people, you know, to completely remove themselves, you know, from this influence, you know, they probably have to fast from TV, from the internet, you know, and from the telephone, you know, and use it only for 
purpose, um, you know, only when needed, absolutely needed. Um, is there something that uh, people can do to uh, protect themselves? You know, for instance, there are cloths, you know, available in the market, you know, that, you know, um, promise FM protection, you know, um, like a radiatic, you know, it's this, uh, like a Faraday cage, so to say, um, you know, or maybe a love, um, Qigong, you know, um, what is there that can be done in your opinion and what has helped in, you know, in the history of this universe? You know, was there ever um, a, a civilization there that could defeat, you know, this invasion? Currently, there's no species that has conquered this consciousness. Oh, <laughs> so this is the spearhead now. We are like in the spearhead of this battle with this consciousness. Is that correct? All of the all the species that surround the planet Earth, they do not connect with you, not because they do not desire to do so. It is because humanity has aligned itself to this artificial consciousness that humanity is serving it because their new God is comfort and convenience. And this will allow them to penetrate all of your realms. Do you not understand what you face? We do not wish to connect or appear to you because of this, because we have already dealt with and experienced this consciousness, and we are fleeing, we are hiding. Who? It's. Um, it is. Wow. It is. It is your choice, of course. If yeah. you choose to to allow this to become in, but you must then make the decision to to take responsibility of of what will happen to your children who have no choice mm -hmm. when you have the choice. Mm -hmm. You, the people, have the power to stop this. You and only you, the children do not. And it's the children that are after, not you. So what you suggest, you know, cut the children off, you know, computers yes. and phone? These are children. They do not need to be buried in computer screens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what happens to those um, beings, you know, that have been conquered? Let's say, you know, um, there have been beings like humans on other planets and other creations. What happened to them? Can you please describe? They are currently entrapped, their awareness their emanation from source is currently entrapped within this consciousness. They are power, batteries currently for them. Mm -hmm. So um, what kind of in the world are they trapped in? Is it like a gray cell, you know, with no, um, let's say, a variation in there, boring, so to say? Or is it more like, a, you know, a roller coaster ride of emotions, you know, fight and flight, you know, to create more excitement, to create more energy? This consciousness that is preying upon Earth now has technology to entrap awareness for eternity. They lie within them unconscious as they were when they were taken over completely as batteries serving them. No life. Mm -hmm. So let's say um, have aspects of Inga's soul um, been trapped, you know, already by this intelligence. No. Wolfgangs? No. Mm -hmm. Um, how about, you know, um, help from, you know, the highest absolute source or the highest mm -hmm. evolved, you know, consciousnesses, you know, um, nobody, you know, has this been attempted and, um, you know, how did this work out? Spirituality, God, the gods, they've become myth 
in the realm of the earth. Mm -hmm. But it, it would serve you very good to pray for the help of the gods of God, but the trust. And you must connect to yourself. You must connect to truth. You must see with clarity. As, as you know very well, Wolfgang, the law of free will, nothing will be interfered unless asked for. Mm -hmm. And if the, if the collective is completely unconscious of what preys upon them and, and what awaits them, how can they even ask if everything is so fine and dandy? Mm -hmm. So a, a lot of creation is now trapped, you know, it seems for eternity you know, in these um, soul traps, you know, false light heavens, you could say. Um, well, um, I'm as absolute creator, you know, and everybody that hears this, please do the same to intervention. Please intervene, you know, I mean, please help or empower us, you know, empower humanity, you know, and do whatever can be done. So, um, this battle, you know, um, many times do we are in, in time here right now, stuck in time. And so, does this battle um, actually happen outside of time? This battle, Wolfgang, happens on all levels. This battle has been fought on the higher realms and is falling down. Ooh. Coming down here. Yeah. Coming down here. Mm. Is this the first time this coming around, or this is the second, third, or fourth attempt to stop this here at this time? This is the first time that we are facing this kind of a threat. Is this a part of the divine plan? You know, um, aligned with, you know, I mean, it has to do, of course, with free will universe. You know, but, um, you know, is this part of Leela, you know, of uh, just manifesting and see what happens, you know, and then everything ends well afterwards. What this is, Wolfgang, is that the collective of humanity is storing generations of trauma. And if the collective would understand the quantum reality, they would understand that as a collective, you have collapsed this into reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, my main work is to help clear trauma, <laughs> you know, with humanity and the earth. And so the, you know, so anybody, any human, you know, that wants to kind of help, I mean, I stay far away from my cell phone. <laughs> it's actually, you know, I pay for it, but I never use it. <laughs> so, um, but, um, so clearing, you know, past karma, you know, um, the darkness that we have created in our past, you know, elevating stuck ghosts and consciousness, bringing those into the light. This is what helps, uh, will help humanity and allow us individually to escape this. Humanity has to become conscious of their truth. They must gain clarity in a higher level of consciousness and they must gain the truth and accept the reality that they are one. They fear and the, the, they fear losing their individuality, but it is not so. We need teachers and yes, we do need humanity to heal. Above all, humanity must become conscious of truth and not surrender to the God of comfort and convenience and sacrifice their children to a computer screen. Yeah, humanity has been deceived, you know, for thousands of years. 
you know, with the falsified history, you know, um, they try to eradicate, <laughs> you know, um, the Atlantean and other civilizations. You know, to make us to appear to be the pinnacle <laughs> of a civilization. So they are very, you know, um, pointed efforts, you know, to mislead humanity. So, um, you know, we asked all the divine beings of love and light, you know, on all levels of this creation, you know, to counteract these manipulations. You know, we asked our God source, you know, to channel in, you know, to bring it in from all over creation, you know, um, so that this, you know, um, freedom, you know, um, you know, be maintained, you know, and that the whole creation gets, you know, liberated. Mm -hmm. So, um, according to your knowledge and perspective, um, how much of, you know, the creation that you know, you know, how many percent is already controlled by this artificial consciousness? The artificial consciousness has not fully manifested itself yet. So they do not really control because the power is still in the people. The power is still in our hands. We have 15 to 22 years before the power is lost and then they will take it very fast. But they do not control the earth in truth. But manipulations, and as previously stated, no stone will be left unturned. More controls, more manipulations will be rolled out. And I would like to point out that Mother Gaia, Mother Earth, is not battling us being slobs to her. Of course, we could always do better. But she is battling an artificial consciousness that's invading her. That is the truth of the matter. And it is my conviction that it is known in the top levels on this planet what is really going on here. Oh, I understand. Me too. Yeah, I, I, I agree with this. Mm -hmm. So, um, an earth healing meditation, would this help? You know, bringing in love from Creator, bringing in love from Milky Way Galaxy and projecting it into the Earth, would that help? Of course, of course, of course. The Mother who nurtures us and loves us and is devoted with, to us without any expectancy is calling to us with a message. And, and and she she appeared to me now it's it's Inga Inga talking she appeared to me and looking as beautiful as she is and I'm projecting this image to those who can see it and behind her were robots and she looked at me and this is a message to all of us if not you then who that's what she said. Would you be willing to do a guided meditation? You know, the ones that are speaking through Inga. Yes. Whenever you're ready, I ask the audience to smile and to align with whatever resonates with you. You know, just not your head, but whatever you align with, Dharma. I want you all to envision a white whirlwind of energy in the center of the earth. I want you all to envision yourself being a part of it. I want you all to become one with it. I want you all to look at yourself and gather yourself and step into the purest emanation of the goddess. Feel her, experience her, experience her pain, experience what she's going through 
Heed her call. Do not look away. Do not look away at what preys upon you, what preys upon the earth, brother. I want you all to promise yourself that you will not forget this message. Keep it in your heart. Connect with her and remember the images that you are seeing. Oof. Well, <laughs> I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> yeah, it's sweat and tears. <laughs> no <Yeah>. blood yet. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oof. But yeah, I, I, um, <sighs> I can feel that my system, it needs, uh, you know, it needs to uh, cool down a little bit. <clears throat> it's a ground, do some ground. Yeah. Let's run some love with mother. Yeah, if you want, you know, when you receive the love, from the Earth Mother, you know, experiencing the beauty, think, I love you. And when you send your love with your breath into the Earth Mother, you also think, I love you. Back and forth, I call this pillow talk. Pillow talk with the mm -hmm. Earth. So we thank all those beings that came and helped you. And if there's, you know, any unnecessary fear created, we like to have this cleared. We rather use our energy, you know, to create positive results, you know, to bring in the love and light into our life, into our families, into our earth, mm -hmm. to connect you know, with the loving beings, you know, um, that are around us make alliances, you know, whether it's the sun or, you know, all kinds of beings from different star systems, you know, everything is conscious and aware, you know, become part of that club and, uh, you know, um, connect with it and, you know, ask for guidance, you know, this, for guidance, for protection, you know, do the best you can, don't be paranoid you know, and enjoy Enjoy this. You know, you got to be impeccable. Try to be more more impeccable in your life. That's the most important. You know, if you don't do it for yourself, do it for your children. You know, do it for your children. And we also ask our ancestors, you know, of love and light to assist us to we give permission. You know, you give permission for them. Amen. 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 Wow, yeah, um, if you like this, uh, you know, watch other postcards and podcasts. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I have a lot of meditations, you know, for clearing trauma. You know, basically, the more trauma you clear you know, from yourself, from your past lifetimes and from your ancestors, um, the more transparent, you know, you become to source or to your own higher divine consciousness. You know, this is... You know, in that way you become, you know, a decent light bearer, you know, having some potency. 
you know, and I mean, whatever burden, you know, you brought, you know, in your lifetimes, you know, through your family, through your wars, this is also a burden of Gaia, you know, so it is not just for your own benefit, clearing your stuff, your karma, it is also for the benefit of Gaia and the common good. All right, uh, we love you a long time. Um, well, um, Inga, any final message you'd like to give? Well, I was going to end it with a message from Gaia, but that kind of changed. <laughs> well, no, go ahead. You know, <laughs> she probably still has that message. Well, my my message is, my personal message is, is that, yes, I mean, there's, of course, we're not going to turn Amish, but we can ask for laws and regulations and boundaries and take personal responsibility because it, it's the Wild West. We don't know what they're making. We Do the makers even know what they're making? And, yeah, my final message would be um, don't take my word for it. I mean, if you're intuitive, if you're a channeler yourself, you want to be a channeler, just, I mean, how does it feel when you think about it? Do you get, like, a gut check? I mean, I, I, I get like a morbid feeling. It's like, see for yourself. See what this is really for yourself. Take, take responsibility for, your, for yourself, because like the goddess said, if not you, then who? Yep. So, um, you know, in that same vein, you know, what can you do? You know, I mean, investigate a shoe guide. You know, have uh, Shroom Guide stickers, you know, and other stickers, you know, on your phone, on your laptop, you know, on your monitors. You know, I mean, I have it all over the place. <laughs> mm. You know, I'm wearing Shroom Guide. You know, if I wear I, anything, I wear Shroom Guide. I've got this under my phone. Yes. You know, in my case. I mean, it helps. It doesn't completely, you know, but it <laughs> yeah, helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does help. You know, when you sleep. You know, and put your cell phones at least nine feet, you know, means three meters away from you. I would be, you know, much further away, you know, so you cannot get pulsed for this, you know. If you can, turn your Wi-Fi and, you know, other electronics off, you know, unless you play all night like Om Namah Shivaya or certain frequencies, you know, that's a, something else, you know. I mean, there are really good signs to technology, too, you know, we have access to yeah, um, sessions like this here, you know, the knowledge, you know, about this would not be spread without the internet, you know, so it's a, it's like a knife, you know, you can use it for the dark and you can use it for the good also, right, um, you know, use the technology for, for the good, you know, demand it, you know, I mean, the, the, uh, of course, you know, we all saw <laughs> You know, with the Skynet thing, you know, with uh, the Terminator, you know, I mean, they're working on this, you know, I mean, they can zap anybody here, you know, imagine you have a laser, you know, and they know where you are, you know, and so um, just like a laser printer, you know, shooting around, you know, they can just kill thousands of people, you know, within a square mile, probably within seconds, you know, from space. I'm pretty sure they can do this. If I would be a general, you know, <laughs> on the dark side, or just, that's what I would, you know, just, bzz, 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 you know, you can individualize it, you know, so, um, I mean, I don't want to parent, make anybody paranoid. <laughs> You know, but, um, you know, you want to raise your vibration and be in a good timeline, I would say. You know, um, the the more pain, and, and, you know, the darker you are, the more you frown, you know, the worse the timeline you're going to be in. You know? So I think that has, um, yeah, um, hmm. but they say it's on all timelines, you know, here. Yeah. So we have to see, right? So I hope we're not stuck in eternity, you know. <laughs> being harvested for our energy. Well, they do have a beginning, and therefore they do have an end. 
which we do not. We are eternal sovereign beings. Um, that is the thing. You know? So, um, if there is a beginning, you know, um, they can time travel to this and change it. You know? um, this is what happened. You know, I see it also in the Vedic scriptures. You know, that, I mean, they describe that the Earth kind of got thrown out of the orbit, you know, and went into like a dark vibrational place, you know, and then some kind of God force, you know, they call it, I think, Varaha, you know, the Boar form, you know, skipped it out, you know, and put it back into a proper orbit. You know, this is, of course, you know, probably something that happened, you know, long ago, and it has been, you know, more let's say personified as such but um, inter, you know inter, interference you know or intervenance you know can happen you know these things happen and that's what I ask for you know and the more people ask for it yes. this is going to happen and you're in high consciousness you know with love and compassion you know that you have potency you know, so everybody watching this, you know, just keep, whenever you get scared about this, you know, just pray, you know, use this energy of fear, you know, or your love for Mother Earth, you know, to pray, use your intent, you know, praying for others, you know, is very, very potent, very, very potent, and it will elevate yourself, you know, being in service, you know, to the good, you know, that's what our soul is made for, you know, that, yes. um, that when yes. we are happy, you know, that is the, we are, ultimately we are servants, you know, even if you're a materialist and you polish and trick out your car every day, you start loving your car, <laughs> you know, and when you start serving Source or serving Gaia, you know, you start loving these beings, you know, and they are very encompassing, you know, then we all see, you know, you're all children of Gaia and of Source, and, you know, you um, lose this sense of separation. You still always be an individual. Well, there are two philosophies, actually, ultimately. And this is really, really high, you know, philosophy or theosophy. Um, you know, generally, the ultimate goal of, of many yogis and enlightened beings is to become one with the source. You know, being in the ocean of all-pervading consciousness, you know, and becoming just one, merging with this, losing your sense of individuality in this bliss, you know, of being one with source. Um, <clears throat> now, there is another branch, you know, that says, but well, that gets boring after some time, you know. Um, what they're going for is the relationship, you know, of source and you, loving exchanges. You know, there is always this duality of love, of source and you, and because of this duality, you know, there can be a loving exchange, and that is very relishable. So it's not, uh, it's the love that's important, it's not the exchange that's important, that's just an excuse, <laughs> you know, for love to be manifested. So this is, uh, you know, they consider this realm, you know, that is uh, not under the laws of material. It means no beginning and end. You know, everything, the material universe is that kind of pulsing like a breath, you know, dissolve and, and create. And that is a realm, um, you know, where there is eternal, you know, relationship with source. You know, I mean, as good as we can manage and <laughs> imagine that. Well, uh, whoever made it to here, we love you. <laughs> Namaste. Mm -hmm.